Hey everybody, we're Dean and Danny Gaffing, Thoroughbred Racing from the Big A Aqueduct Race Course, Ozone Park, New York. On Saturday, April the 1st, this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at one of nine stake races on the card this afternoon, folks. Race 3, 2.18 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Kaisha Electronica Stakes. It's the seventh furlong sprint on Aqueduct's main dirt track. Four-year-olds and up racing for a stakes prize of $80,000. Contenders number three, Story to Tell. Number five, I Love Lulu. Number one, Four Set. And number four, Alex the Terror. Be interesting to note how the announcer at Aqua today pronounces the name of this race. Caixa Electronica is Brazilian Portuguese, the translation being your local Mac machine at your local bank. This race honors the career of one Caixa Electronica, whose performance as a racehorse improved with age, winning his first graded stake race in 2012. He won the richest race of his career, the nine furlong $1 million Charlestown Classic in April of that year, defeating the previous year's winner, Duke of Mischief. On May 28th, he finished fourth behind Shackleford in the one-mile net handicap and ran back just 12 days later to score a late charging victory in the True North handicap, making it more than 14 lengths to win by three-quarters of a length in this six-furlong sprint. Kaisha Electronica next tried nine furlongs in the Whitney Invitational at Saratoga on August 4th, but faded to 8th on September 1st. Forgo stakes at seven furlongs. He finished 4th, returning to six furlongs at Belmont Park on September 29th. He closed to finish 2nd to Lumberguy in the Vosburg States after a 7th place finish in the Bull Ruler Handicap on December October 27th, he carried 133 pounds to a commanding four-length victory in the fall highweight handicap. Raced in second place behind this one's for Phil for much of the six furlong contest before draw drawing off under a hand ride. That win brought his 2012 early earnings to $1,116,000 in 12 races. On January 4th, 2014, Kaisha Electronica was in a training accident at Belmont Park. Six drivers, a four-year-old, got loose and collided with the nine-year-old Kaisha Electronica head-on. Both horses died instantly. Six drivers fractured his neck while Kaisha Electronica fractured his skull. In this year's edition of the Kaisha, number three story to tell, takes a slight class drop. Has produced power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in four of those outings, including back-to-back -back power run wins in his third and fourth races back. Jockey Irado Ortiz and trainer Rudy Rodriguez sent him to the post. They fit the board with 59% of more than 360 entry saddles a team to date. Number five, I love Lulu, has hit the board in power run fashion in three of his last five, winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency. Race 3 summary, number 3, story to tell. Tops my contenders list today here at Aqueduct, which also includes number 5, I Love Lulu, number 1, 4, Set, and number 4, Alex the Terror, 3, 5, 1, 4, and the third from Aqueduct, the $80,000 Kaisha Electronic Estates. Got some Saturday long shots for you folks. Let's go to Charlestown, race 7. Number four, Perfect Cross, 4-1 to one in the morning line, drops in class by eight track master units. It's the overall speed leader, has hit the board in power run fashion in two of his last three, including a power run win in his fourth race back. Mahoning Valley Race Course, race four, the eight to one shot. Number five, She's All That, qualifies as a track master plus power pony, is the overall speed leader in this allowance field, and has hit the board in power run fashion in four of her last five, including a power run win in her fourth race back. So, handicapping from the Big A, Aqueduct on April Fool's Day. Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.